having it in um, Ira, you know, um, which is what we wanted, but the process went, well, we couldn't have it in Ira because all student productions had to be in ETS. That's right. And I'm sitting here thinking like, <laughs> since when? You know, I was like, I never heard of these rules, KBB. I don't know. I was like, I've been here since 96. I ain't never heard of these rules. Like, this is news to me. She's like, nah, this is some bullshit. She's like, so first we were told we we're going to have to do it in ETS. And then, um, then we find out we couldn't get furniture pieces. And she's like, you know what? It's gonna, we're gonna do this. She's like, this is gonna be a great production where we do it because, you know, we having all these challenges. She's like, it's bullshit, but we're gonna do it, you know? And, uh, and that's just how it was. We ended up being able to do it in Ira after all, you know, because I think uh, she had talked to Denise Hart, who was our, um, who was the um, Howard Players advisor at the time, I think. And uh, we were able to get it in Ira, and it was a success, man. Like, all. All the challenges. I mean, she. I swear, she gave. She, I mean, I thought she was gonna get expelled because she was giving. <laughs> she was giving faculty some hell. You know. Um, I think Mama Evans was chair then, or were you chair? Mm -hmm. you nah, Mama Evans. Mama Evans. Mama Evans. Evans. Yeah. She was chair. Like, yeah. This is what's going. This right. But Henry it, was it chair. Was, she was an example because it was about the art. The art. Mm -hmm. You, you know, know I mean? and I remember that, and I remember that that being for a lot of us a lesson in art surpassing ego because yeah. mm -hmm. it wasn't about. This is my production, or this is this gonna showcase me. It right. was about when I thought we were trying to develop craft, right, but right, we're developing right. craft, and we just we don't even need you. We just need you to not stop us. Right. right. And I, I even because kind of technically like the class that you come in with or whatever, she was always a, a person that pushed you. Like, mm -hmm. are you making the decisions about what's best for you? Or are you letting somebody dictate what you do and what you mm -hmm. don't do? Mm -hmm. And it, it was like on stage and off the stage. It was like she was never boxed character-wise. Yeah. And so it was just like, you know, you're walking around in a department and you're like, well, I don't know when I'm going to get this, this, that. And she's like, what are, you, what are you waiting for somebody to give you? Like, mm -hmm. come on. So it was no crybaby cry around her. It was no complaining. It was like you get up and you do something. Mm -hmm. Or just sit down and don't yeah. say nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember. But, um, but, but, you know, but, you know, quickly, though, just like uh, you like that for our students. I mean, since none of y'all are students right now, <laughs> but anyway, the people who are in here, they don't need to know that. But you, you know, I mean, you really like that for our students. But the other thing I would like to say, she was never close to getting expelled. Though. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, <laughs> no, I'm sure she was. We, I just like, we yeah. liked her, but she was yeah. a challenge. Though. She was a challenge. Was a challenge. <laughs> I mean, she we liked a lot of a lot, lot of y'all were. You know, she, you, she, <laughs> <was> <laughs> she, she was a challenge. <laughs> 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 she got a lot done because she, you know, she was just not one to take no without question. Right. right. You know, she right. didn't just take right. no easily. It's right. like, well, why not? You know, and she challenged everything. You know, and it got a lot of stuff a lot of stuff done you know yeah, a lot of stuff done yeah. i mean i remember um when she was serving i think that was the same year she was um president of the uh, howard players you know that year and uh, a lot of a lot of changes you know came about with howard players i mean she started getting the t-shirts and the bags and all that stuff you know uh, so she did a whole lot for the department you know what i mean mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of changes and you know inspired a lot of a lot of the um underclassmen students you know to not just Say no, like when you talking about how she, you know, she would. It's like you know. Um, I remember she had a conversation with uh, Trefina, you know, and Trefina was. Um, I think it was probably Trefina's uh, sophomore, junior year. She was starting to go through this thing because she hadn't been cast in any main stage productions, and Kibibi was like. So, what, what the hell are you coming like? Go out and do something else. Don't be limited to yeah. Howard University. Like, go out and audition somewhere else. You know, like Howard main stage is not, you know, theater main stage. Like, don't feel like you're not gonna make it if you're not on, you know, Howard University main stage. Like, there are other opportunities. You know, you got to make your own way. And she stepped our comedy game. Up, oh just my God. acting wise oh, yeah. it was like what you used to think was funny on stage when you had a scene it was like, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> like where do you get this timing from like you're a, a genius yeah. and right. you just watch right. like I'm gonna figure this out we're gonna go study yeah. but it was right. magic like just yeah. pure I'd say Morgan too Kibibi and Morgan oh my Crazy. god the, <laughs> the combination oh. I think Kibibi was absolutely a blessing to people because she came here as a transfer student she was significantly older yeah. and it was 2000 mm -hmm. 
So I was 18 from Cali, but I think BB might have been like 23. Because she had yeah. gone to UC Davis. Yeah, 20, yeah, 20, something like that. Yeah. And so, though it may seem like it's close in age, it's really not. And her wisdom was one of the things that I always remember because I was whining and spoiled and entitled and, and you know, thought this world 3,000 miles away was supposed to be, you know, what I had come from. But mm, her mm. being older, you never like, it was never like, you mm. know, yeah. it was always with a listening ear, a kind ear, an open heart and non-judgmental. Yeah. So that when she did teach you with a joke, you could laugh at yourself mm-hmm. and you could grow mm-hmm. and move on. So, I mean, I just remember sitting right there in that hallway complaining about all these teachers and all these people and these Bamas in D.C., yeah. whatever that meant to me. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, Bamas. <laughs> Bamas. <laughs> these Bamas in D.C. And Kibibi just, like, listening and um, really being there. She's just a beautiful spirit. And I think that God gives certain people who he knows their time is short a light that touches many mm-hmm. without them even having to exude effort. Mm-hmm. And so... That's what KBB was for me, you know, uh, a mirror to myself, to my artistry, to my personage. And uh, I'll never forget her. And if my daughter can be half the woman uh, that KBB was, I'd be a very lucky parent. So I love you, KBB. I mean, she comes from such a, a big family, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, like she has like so many sisters and brothers, mm-hmm. and then it got to the point I was like, hold on, are these your blood sisters and brothers, or are these just like you know, my uh, brother who ain't really my brother, he's you know, from around the corner. We got different you know, parents. Right. How many? But, uh, How many? Uh, I can't even put a number. No. To I know. It's, I know. I it's, a it's, lot. it's a lot. It's a lot. No, no, oh, no. It's, yeah. it's, she has probably somewhere close to eight brothers and sisters. 